around election time. We'll talk to you about that and as the election nears. But it was just proven by House Republicans that Joe Biden personally received vast sums of money funneled from China into directly into his pockets. Joe Biden is corrupt and Joe Biden is compromised and you'll never have good deals with these foreign countries because they know everything about him. They know far more about him than we do. Biden even depleted the strategic petroleum reserve that we did so great with. Remember, we bought all that oil when the price was nice and low, right? We bought so much, we filled that thing and nobody ever saw anything like it. And for the election, he wanted to see if he could, had very little impact in terms of, you know, because believe it or not, the energy capacity of our country is so big that even that, which is probably the largest storage areas in the world. But we bought, a, we made a great deal, got a lot of it at $20 a barrel. $20 a barrel, doesn't that sound good? But we got a lot because we actually produced so much, it was starting to get a little bit uh, wild out there. So we had to cut it back and we did cut it back and everybody made a lot of money and everybody had inexpensive energy and it was a beautiful thing and it was really getting ready to rock and i was just i couldn't wait to go over to europe and make those deals. i would have made deals with every single country over there they didn't need the russia nord stream 2 pipeline they didn't need it crooked joe puts china first russia first venezuela first how about that one venezuela i thought they were the enemy louis they have the worst you know they don't have gasoline and they don't have oil you know what they have tar and i hate to say this i'm in the wrong place to say it. i should you know where it's refined there's only one refinery in the country that can refine it because it's tar it's they got a lot of it you know where that refinery is located in a place called houston texas has anyone ever heard of houston texas do you know that so for all of those environmentalists they don't want to drill our clean, beautiful, beautiful, sweet. They call it sweet. The real taste, sweet. They love it. They can taste it. They don't want. We have the most of it. But for those people that don't want to do it, you are right now in your city, the refinery for the tar, which takes tre tremendously costly. But what it sends up into the air is unbelievable. And this was his choice. We could have taken it for nothing, for nothing under our feet. But he takes it from an enemy country, a country that is now run by dictators and run by a dictator. And that dictator was on his last couple of weeks at the end of the Trump administration. And now that dictator is a very rich man. You know that? Very rich. But Biden puts America last and he puts our workers last. He puts our industries like this last. He puts your families last and he puts everything that's good last. It's like, it's like April Fool's Day. Go through it. What has he done? Think of it. He's been there for three years. What has he done that's good? There hasn't been one thing that's done. Everything is bad. The border is bad.